Welcome to Mtron Training Part 57. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at working with our rolling anti-lag feature. A rolling anti-lag feature allows us to generate boost when we want to go and launch our car as we're actually driving and moving. Similar kind of idea as working with a launch control and anti-lag to launch off the line at the drag strip to be able to build boost, we can use this to accomplish the same thing except when we're moving. We're gonna learn how to implement it, how to wire in a switch and configure everything so that we can actually activate the rolling anti-lag when we'd like. We're gonna have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with programming a rolling anti-lag in our Mtron ECU. A rolling anti-lag allows us to generate boost when we're driving in a particular gear if we're in a roll race type situation. This is going to be specific to a turbocharged engine. So you have a turbo engine, very laggy turbo. If you're in third gear, let's say, and you want to race someone from 60 mile per hour and beyond, you're going to find that you probably have turbo lag and you're not going to be able to accelerate very quickly when you start that initial launch at 60 miles per hour in, the, in that roll race. So the rolling anti-lag starts to allow us to have a limiter type effect to hold us at a particular speed and then being able to retard the timing so we build the boost as rapidly as possible. This is the same kind of concept as we talked about with the launch control using the ignition retard feature to build boost. We can do the same thing and accomplish the exact same thing here with our rolling anti-lag, but what we're gonna be doing is moving. Now it's a little bit different in setting up everything. We'll talk about how to configure things and how to make sure everything is programmed properly in this tutorial. The first thing that we need to do is make sure we set up a rolling anti-lag switch. This is going to be a momentary button that you have to mount somewhere in your vehicle. Usually mounted on the steering wheel because it's easier to hold down a momentary button to be able to initiate the rolling anti-lag and let go of it when I want to go and accelerate and start to get the jump on somebody in a roll race situation. Let's go and learn how to go and set this up. It's actually really easy. So in this case, we're gonna go from our tuning window into config. Now under config here, we're gonna go into our channels input setup. Under input setup, we're gonna move into motorsports. And then down here under the channel name, we're gonna go into the rolling launch enable switch. This allows it to turn on or off. Without this switch being configured, the Amtron doesn't know that you wanna go and enable the rolling anti-lake feature. So what we're gonna do here is double click we're gonna go in here and set this up. Now you can use either an analog input or a digital input. In my situation, I have a momentary button that's wired into ground. So one leg goes to ground. The other leg is wired into my analog 11 on my Mtron. Now I could run that into an analog or digital. I chose to put it into an analog for this, this particular example. Under the input source here, we need to go and select which particular analog or digital input we're using. In this case, I'm using my analog 11. If I click OK here, we're gonna go down and change some of our input settings and in active edges. The first thing we need to do under the input settings is set this to a momentary type of switch. It's telling Mtron what type of switch we're dealing with. The next thing into our active edge, since my switch that I've wired into the Mtron is going to be a ground input, so I'm grounding the pin on the Mtron here on analog 11, I'm gonna go set this to a falling. If you're sending a 12 volt or a rising signal type in, you'll choose rising. But if it's a ground signal into that input pin, you'll choose falling, which is what I have selected here. Now, because I have a ground that's grounding the pin, I need to use the pull-up. Without the pull-up enabled, it won't detect that we're grounding our analog 11. If you're sending a 12 volt in, we do not choose the pull-up. The filter, I'm gonna keep here at zero. I don't need to worry about that. Now, the next few things here, if we jump down into arming thresholds, we're gonna see we have some options here. We have a table or we have a two point arming. We only need a two point for this particular uh, switched momentary switched input. We're going to find here under the two point, there's an on and an off. We need to specify the voltage thresholds when the switch is going to be active or on and when the switch is going to be inactive or off. Now in this case, what we're going to do here is take a look at my analog 11. Right now, analog 11 here is going to show zero. If I go and push the button, we can see it's changing just slightly. Now what we're going to have to do here because it, the pull up here hasn't actually been enabled because I haven't clicked okay. If we look at right now, it's gonna go jump to five volt because that pull up has been enabled. So let's jump back in here in order to configure this properly. Now, if I push my momentary button, we're gonna find it goes to zero, meaning we're grounding analog input 11. If I let go of the button, it goes to five volts. So it recognizes um, that that pull up has been enabled and that the circuitry here has been programmed properly under the input settings. Now, what we need to do, into the arming thresholds here. When this switch turns on, what's going to designate this turning on? 
We'll say if the voltage here drops less than. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.